Ah, the Tapajara. <laughs> One of the most versatile creatures in Ark. With its great strafing ability, it can go left or it can go right, it can go directly up, it can go directly down, it's got a lot of movement. This thing is very handy for building and also combat as well and recently with the tech saddle it gives it that extra edge that other flyers do not have in the game. But these creatures aren't actually that easy to tame and in this video we're going to go through several methods that you can acquire one of these tapajaras. So guys I hope you will enjoy this video, hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying it and let's go. You unlock the Tapajara saddle when you're level 55, and it's not too expensive in terms of crafting. Though the only issue is, is that trying to knock one of these out at level 55 without any help or a tribe is going to be a little bit more difficult because it's going to take 7 uh, Trank Arrows to actually knock one of these things out, and those need to be headshots. Now that's going to do a lot of damage to the creature itself, and it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you're going to be under time constraints due to bolas and such. So probably wait till you're level 62, which is when you can unlock the Trank Dart and go ham with these guys. So I'm going to be going over a couple methods anyway. There's going to be a couple that are kind of more early game, and then there's going to be a few that are more late game. But I hope you guys will enjoy them anyway, and uh, yeah, let's go. So the best way to do it is bola from afar. Do not approach. Don't try to run up to it and bola it. You will not get it. I guarantee. You gotta bowl of them from afar, move in, headshot them five times. That's what it takes to knock out a 150 on official. You'll see right here, this is a un like this isn't a powered up rifle or anything. It is a basically one that you could just craft yourself. And we should be able to knock out this guy. Bolas last for 30 seconds. You should have enough time to knock this guy out. I didn't get a headshot that time for some reason. So we might not get this one out. I don't know why. I think I hit his lip. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't count. But he's out. Five darts to the head, one to his lip. <laughs> we got him out. These things take Allosaurus Kibble, if you're wondering as well. They'll take around 22, I believe, for a 150 on official rights. So yeah, this is one of the most easiest methods right here. But we're going to go through a bunch more in just a second. So if you have trouble trying to bowl it from afar and you want an easier method, you can go ahead and use the rare flowers. Nowadays, with a more recent change in arc in patch 261, I believe, um, they actually updated rare flowers, so they aggro creatures from around you. Now this method is a little bit more dangerous, so you might want to have a bed nearby and also probably have like a decent tame if you need to hop on. Um, but the best method for this is to basically kill anything that's going to probably kill you besides this guy right here. So what you want to do is you want to just drop one of these things and it, sh it should come for you. At this point I should be dying but I'm actually in god mode for basically just to show this off. But have good armor and you just got to bola it as it's flying around you like that. And then obviously the same method right here. Five darts to the head and it should be out. On the off chance that you can manage to get close enough to one of these creatures, build a quick pen such as this one and have access to honey, you can do this method right here. Throw in your honey, wait for this creature to get attracted to it. You might need to throw a couple more first though, because it seems to be kind of moving away a little bit. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Here he comes. So what you want to do is basically just kind of lead it in, but you want to stay at a decent distance or else this creature is going to probably fly away. <laughs> Let's just drop a couple more here and we'll pop another one in here before he aggros. Let's get away. Once he walks into the pen, we should be pretty good to go. And we can drop down a gate before he aggros. And from here, you can pretty much get in there, knock him out, and you're good. Now this next method will require you to be more advanced in arc, but this is kind of like a kind of similar to the whole uh, rare flower method. Uh, you actually use pheromone darts. You want to whistle your creature in passive and shoot your own creature with it. This way you're not getting hurt, your creature can tank it, and you could probably land a bola pretty easily. I figured out this method months ago, and now that we have the whole rare flower thing, maybe this isn't the best method, but I mean it kind of saves you from like kind of taking damage yourself almost and I mean it's kind of the same thing. Oh, the only problem is that you'll get attacked by everything else. That sheep is savage. 
Now, if you're seriously having trouble finding these things when they are on the ground like that one there, what you could do is if you already own a Quetzal, get a Quetzal, put a platform saddle onto it, maybe get a turtle or something like that, shoot the turtle, get the turtle onto the back obviously, shoot the turtle with a aggro dart, and then get the turtle to fall off onto the ground. This will basically enable you to get the creature down to the ground, and then at that point you can bola. Or if you want to do it this way, you can pretty much just shoot your Quetzal, and they'll start coming to you. But this is going to be arguably more dangerous, because you're going to be up in the air, they could easily knock you off. But at this point you could try to bola them. Obviously put your Quetzal on passive, unlike me. <laughs> So if you're having trouble actually getting these creatures while they're on the ground, you could also just go ahead and fly up on an RG or possibly a Tranodon, drop a rare flower, and bring these things down to the ground. Probably the best creature for this method is the Griffin, but that's only available on Ragnarok, so yeah. <laughs> but using this method, you could go ahead, get them down, you could actually fly them into a pen, but the only problem is, is that doing a lot of movement with this means that you're going to aggro more than just a few creatures, as you can tell. <laughs> so yeah, that's, a, that's another kind of handy method right there. Um, if you are actually kind of having trouble, I guess, finding them while they're on the ground, because they don't always land, which is the difficult part about Tapajaras. And they're really hard to bola while they're in the air as well. So yeah, that's a really handy method right there. Now, this is going to require you to have a griffin, so you're going to need to play on Ragnarok, basically, or, I guess, have a griffin some other way, but you can follow Tapajaras and shoot them off the back of a griffin. The griffin is the only creature that you can actually, well, the only flying creature that you can actually pull out a weapon while you're on the back. You could either try to shoot them, or you could try to bola them. It's probably going to be easier to bola them, so then you can get them down and, you know, kind of secure the area. If you're shooting them randomly, you might end up knocking them out in a bad spot, but this is also going to require you to have pretty good precision with your rifle. Or, I guess, I don't know, a pretty good throwing arm too. But uh, I, I seriously don't even think I'll be able to hit this thing with a bola at all. But uh, yeah, this is obviously just another method that you can do. And it does work pretty well. So, those were a few methods of taming the Tapajara. Uh, let me know if you guys can think of anything else, or if I missed out on anything here, but I'm pretty sure I kind of got most of the ideas I could probably think of anyway. So, if you guys did enjoy the video or you found it helpful at all, do be sure to hit that like button, it really does help out. And uh, also subscribe if you guys want to see more like this, and yeah, I will see you guys next time.